certainly did. Showing lots of energy, lots of purpose. And here as we see when Sun Ki eventually gets the ball back to him, what a lovely clip it was outside of his right boot. And really have to score there. Zheng Ji doesn't get up high enough above the ball. It's an acres of space. Netherlands defenders go to sleep, they lose him, but he just can't climb high enough to hit the target. All he needs to do is hit the target, He's trying to go ahead. And then after 10 minutes, the two most crucial events of the first half. First of all, this one. That's right, and Lenz, and eventually he pulls it back to Ian Robin. Really was a poor challenge. Zhang Lin Peng, the wrong side of him. Doesn't need to make the challenge there. No point arguing with the strikers up front. What you don't do is a foul away like that in the box. Definite penalty. Robin goes down. The Netherlands had the chance to take the lead from the spot. Robin Van Persie with his 35th international goal made no mistake. No doubt was there. It's a great penalty, it really is. Keeper Zeng Chen goes the wrong way. Left foot of Van Persie. High, plenty of power, good pace. Yet another goal for the Dutch hitman. So the Dutch skipper giving his country the lead. And then came even more bad news for China. It was as the ball comes out. Unfortunately, you see, poor challenge. Initially, I thought, well, he's that little harsh, but you can see the flying boot of Quinn Sheng. The Australian referee had no hesitation, did he? And rightly so because, yes, the game hasn't been on very long and Quinn Sheng hasn't produced any other fouls, but look how high that leg is. And only because the Guzman didn't actually cop it right in the middle of his shin. But look at that, that is a lunge off the ground. He's definitely out of control. Whether it's the first minute, 50th minute, it's a red card. The Guzman, from the resulting free kick, picked himself up and forced a save from Zheng Chang. Was a good save. Comfortable height for the keeper, but good technique up and over the wall. But always going to save that one. And the Netherlands could and really should have been further ahead. And this was a golden opportunity for Ian Robin. It was. And now, of course, playing at 10 men, plenty of space out there. They can get their fullbacks forward. And Tendali on this right hand side. Actually, a good cross in. And Ian Robin has to hit the target there because there's so much space back across the goal. Just low to the right would have done it. Here, Paul defending again. Zhang Ling Peng gets underneath the ball. But look how much time and space he's got. Should have been. Number two, hard and low across the goal. That was the one. And you would have expected Van Persie to get his and his country's second here as well. All he need to do was hit the target as well, but it's a delicious cross on this right hand side by Lenz. But Van Persie in so much space, all he needs to do is glance it into the net. Well, he glanced it, didn't get enough of the ball. He knows as well, it should have been number two. So, Netherlands in total control. It's a big test ahead for China. 90 places, remember, in the current FIFA rankings separate these two teams. The Netherlands' first ever game in China is the most comfortable one at the moment. Can China muscle anything up with that? And Schneider, eventually when it comes to Van Persie, first touch was good, second was so quick. China's defence just absolutely all over the place. He takes it so early, keeper no chance there, couldn't quite squeeze, squeeze it in. When it comes back to Robin and the then. Chinese players. Eventually, when it comes back, one thing in his mind is to try and chip the keeper. The keeper's only two yards off the line, and he still almost did it. And you can just see a straying offside. Right decision. Dragged away. Allowed Lens there. So much time and space. Defenders absolutely no chance. Played him from Lens. Just see there from left to right. Of course, down to 10 men. The spaces are going to be there. And even then you do fancy Robin Van Persie, he's left through it instead, he's tried to flick it. There's a breakthrough in midfield, still a long way out. And why not have a go? I'm not sure a side foot was going to do with the ball, but the back four or back three of China coming out all the cock and the opportunity came. Good save from the keeper. Yet here, Yuhan Chao had the opportunity to get his side back on level terms when it eventually come to him. You can see he went through Peter's legs as well. Difficult for him to see it. But down low One from De Guzman. Snyder. Van Persie takes over. And now Robin. Snyder surely. Oh, what a cheeky finish. Finally, another goal arrives for the Netherlands. And it's a top quality finish from Wesley Snyder. His 25th goal for his country.
And the Netherlands double their advantage. What a brilliant goal. Well, finally the second one's come, but what great play it was. Timing of the run here. But the finish, absolutely sublime. A flick from Wesley Snyder. Why do something easy when you can do it like that? Technique. 